Hey guys, it's your girl Rashida with another episode of Miss Goody's Kitchen. On today's episode, I'm going to show you guys how to make whipped cream from scratch. So, here are the few things you're going to need. You're going to need heavy whipping cream and just powdered sugar. So, it's really, really simple. So, the first thing you want to do is you're going to need either like a stand mixer or if you have just like even a hand mixer, that's perfectly fine as well. So, I'm going to just pour in my heavy cream which you could find at any supermarket. It's gonna be heavy cream or say like whipping cream or whatever, but it's all the same thing. And then, I usually start my mixer on low, so whatever you have, try to start like on a low setting. And then you can speed it up. So you just wanna let that go and you're gonna see that after a period of time, if it makes it on its own, the air is gonna actually go into the cream and that's what's gonna make it fluffy and make it a whipped cream. I'm gonna turn that up a little bit more. And if you're watching it, you're gonna notice that the bubbles are starting to form and that's the air getting inside the cream. So while it's mixing, I'm gonna take some of the powdered sugar that I have. This is regular confectionery sugar. I'm gonna add it to the mixture, but I'm gonna turn it down a little bit because if you don't, it's gonna just all poof up in your face. So the heavy cream itself doesn't make the whipped cream sweet. What's actually making the whipped cream sweet is the confectionery sugar. And then you wanna turn the speed up a little bit more. So you're gonna notice that it's starting to get a little bit thicker, which is what you wanna see. If you have an um, electric mixer or whatever, that's perfectly fine. If not, you can use a whisk and just whisk it in a bowl. And it's gonna take time. I remember in culinary school, we were like whisking, 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 whisking. But if you have a stand mixer or like electric mixer, it's gonna be easier. But if you don't, you can use this, but it's just gonna take some time. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn it down. I'm gonna turn it off. And then I just want to check it to see where it's at. So I'm going to scrape down the sides and you can see already it's a little bit thicker, but it's still not whipped cream. So it still has ways to go, but I'm going to scrape down and make sure that all the powdered sugar is combined into the rest. And then I'll let it go again. Right now I have it on a, C, a speed of six. It smells so good. So basically right now you can see it's getting thicker and thicker, but I'm gonna keep it going until you see the whipped cream actually stand onto the whisk. So when it's onto the whisk, then you can see that it's perfect. And I'm gonna show you guys that in a moment. Mm. See, it's getting thicker and thicker and thicker. So let's check it. I like to check it while it's still mixing because if you over mix it, it will actually break back down into heavy cream. So you can see with my spatula that it's thicker, but I want mine to be a little bit more thicker. So I'm going to scrape the sides again to make sure everything is combined and then I'm going to continue mixing it. Yum. Oh, there we go. You see how thick that is? And let it go a little bit longer. Make sure it's stiff. 
what we say in culinary school is you want to mix it until it makes a piece. So imagine all this mixing, doing it by hand. So I'm definitely grateful for this thing right here. Okay, this is pretty good. Perfect. Okay. Now I'm just gonna remove it. You can see it's thick. You could put it in a bowl and leave it in the fridge. And when you leave it in the fridge, you'll see that it will get a little bit thicker. All right, guys, so here you have it, whipped cream from scratch. So I'm really excited about this. You guys can make it at home now. And what's even better is that if you're a diabetic, you can control how much confectionery sugar that you actually add into the whipped cream. So if you want to make it less sweeter, then you can do that as well. Also, you can have it over a crepe, you can have it over fruit, you can make it with your kids because it's so simple. You can make it with friends, family, or whatever you choose. So you guys know what to do. Like, comment, subscribe, and let me know how your team came out. All right? Thank you, guys. Bye.